Hello guys, welcome back to Telecom Talk. Today we have the Oppo 878 5G with us. This is a new smartphone that just launched in India and it is still available for pre-booking so on Amazon. So if you want to get a first look at how this device uh, feels like and what are its specifications, just watch this video till the end and make sure you subscribe the channel and uh, give this video an upvote. So guys just to start off you can see that the price mentioned here is 21,999 but that is not the actual price. The actual price is 19,000 which is 8,999 and you know you can also get some discounts if you use the SBI bank card. So without wasting any more time let me just open this box for you. Right at the top you've got this box black box and i believe it should have the manuals such as the oneplus devices and a basic cover so that is what it is this is the basic standard cover that you get i wouldn't re really recommend people to use this for in the long run but you know this is what you get right out of the box and here you've got some manuals and the sim ejector tool so we'll keep this at the side for now and this is just the box here is the device the star of the show and we'll also keep this aside at the moment and we'll see what else is in the box so i don't believe much else should be there except for the you know charging brick this is a 33 watt charging brick because this device supports 33 watt superbook fast charging and this is its cable so you know oppo well done for including the charger in the box now at this price point you know i don't even think any brand would want to experiment a lot with uh, not including the charger for the consumers because this is a category that mostly you know uh, consumers who want affordable phones go for so they don't want to spend anything extra on the chargers so it's very much understandable so now we'll come back to the device and we'll just remove this plastic cover so you can see that you know i've got the blue color variant now there's also a black variant of this device oppo incorporates the oppo glow technology on these devices so that is why you can see that you know there's sort of a rainbow sort of effect on this and this particular part you can see that it's very reflective and this sort of looks like matte finish and this sorts of looks like a glass finish but this is actually a plastic i believe and you've got the two big camera cutouts over here so you know this is the oppo branding and at the bottom you've got the type c port a speaker grill and then there's also 3.5 mm audio jack which i love because you know i'm fond of listening to music via via earphones and on the left side you've got the volume rockers and the sim tray and at the right you've got the power button now this i believe is also the fingerprint mechanism or i'm not sure let's just you know go ahead and power on the device and we'll see what's what so guys the device has finally booted up and it took quite a few minutes but you know it's very easy to do even if you're a first time Oppo user because it's just like setting up basic Android device and you know right out of the box this device boots at Android 13 which is ColorOS 13 skin on the top. So ColorOS 13 is you know very much similar to the Oxygen OS 13. So if you have used a OnePlus device with Oxygen OS 13 you know you shouldn't find too many uh, surprises over here. If you swipe down from here you should be able to get a search box like this and you know oneplus usually gives you a oneplus shelf but here you don't get that from the top if you scroll down you get the quick settings and if you go to settings you can also you know check out about device features so you can see that here it's mentioned it's running at color s13 and right now this device has a 5000 mAh battery which is you know surprising because it's pretty light weighing at 188 grams and I was right about this, there is also a power button as well as a fingerprint sensor. So you can see as I put my thumb over here, it quickly opens the device and it's, it's pretty responsive and pretty fast so that is something I like. And from here you can see that uh, the basic RAM is 8GB for this device. It is available in a single 8GB plus 128GB storage option but you know you can also increase the RAM up to 8GB additional if you have uh, internal storage free and you know you can also increase the internal memory which is 128GB to 1 TB if you have a micro SD card. This device is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 700 octa-core processor. Now this is a processor that you must have seen a lot of devices using back in 2021. The reason Oppo I believe have gone with this chipset is because of the rising chip cost and at an affordable price this chipset was available and it could also you know deliver 5G to customers. So coming to the 5G angle of the device it supports both Reliance Geo and Airtel's 5G at the moment and as soon as 
Vodafone Idea launches its 5G, it will be available on this device as well. If we just talk about the preloaded apps, you can see that there's share chat. Now, these are the apps that I decided could be preloaded. And then here are hot games, which I don't really understand the need of it. Now, this is a way of Oppo to make money. And this is the difference between OnePlus and Oppo, to be honest, guys. OnePlus doesn't force these apps on you. Now, again, you've got these hot apps over here, hot games. And here you've got more apps. So you get a uh, phone pay, Facebook, Fincher pay, this sort of apps preloaded on the device. And then you've got these tools over here. Color S13 is good, but you know, it's not my favorite because Oxygen OS 13 is just a level superior. So at the rear, if we talk about the cameras, there's a 50 megapixel AI primary sensor and then there's a two megapixel depth sensor, which I'm not sure of how it will behave because you know, 50 megapixel sensor on an affordable device, it sounds good and all, but at the end of the day, pictures today really depend a lot on the software that the device is using. So it's asking me to enter the password over here. It's not accepting my thumbprint uh, for some strange reason. So for now, I've just gone with the basic password, you know, just to unlock the device. At the front, you see right at the top, there's a speaker grill again over here, which is also really good. It, it, it has stereo speakers, so you'll be able to enjoy a good sound experience and you'll also get a 8 megapixel selfie sensor over here the teardrop notch display it's, it's pretty old now but you know i guess it will do for a price range of 19000 and then you know if we just talk about the display there's a 6.56 inch 90 hertz display now you can switch it back to 60 hertz but i don't really want to do that i'll just switch it to dark mode instead for now and dark mode i believe is way better than the light mode with the color os 13. at the moment this is what you get with this device guys this again like i said 33 watt fast charging a 5000 mAh battery this this device also has fingerprint lock over here it supports face unlock and more so i'll get you more information about the device guys how it is i'll do a review video as well as a review article so keep following telecom talk you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and do ask me some questions whatever questions you have about this device in the comment section so this is it for now guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care